The solution is desiring to have peace. Generally, we have four pillars of the Christian life. Paul named them in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. He said, And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. These pillars are natural in each Christian. Without them, there is no peace. If you have not enough faith, you won't have peace. If you have not enough love, you won't have peace. If you have not enough hope, you won't have peace. You can measure your relationship with God by the degree of your peace. If you are mostly stable, your relationship with God is good. If you are disturbed and annoyed every day, there is something wrong with your relationship with God. You may be a servant and religious, but where is your peace? The first thing in your relationship with God is giving you peace in your heart. He came to give us peace, even before salvation. St. Isaac the Syrian said, The peace that comes from actions is fake. Watching TV will not cast your worry away. Drinking will not make you feel better. This is not peace. Having a lot of money won't comfort you. Anxiety may increase because you will fear for your money. Earthly actions have no relationship with true peace. There is something that can bring these three pillars. Humility. Humility is the secret to faith, hope, and love, and they all bring peace. If you have humility, you will get faith, hope, and love, and so you get peace. One of the biblical personalities that had the most peace was the Virgin St. Mary, even though she had a very tough life, tougher than all of us. She lost her parents while she was three, she was pregnant when she was a teenager, she escaped as a fugitive from Palestine to Egypt with a very old man who was a carpenter in a village. People doubted her. She knew that her son would leave her and she would live alone. None of these circumstances affected the amazing peace that she had. She is the source of our peace by her example. We say to her, peace to you. She only had humility, so she had amazing hope, faith in God, and love for all people. Therefore, she had peace. We all need peace, so our church prays for peace a lot. We pray, O King of Peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace. Peace has four dimensions inside of us. So let's analyze it. The first dimension is in the mind. Most of us have fights in our minds, but there are some who are calm and think calmly. This is rare nowadays. This fight of the thoughts is not related to calm, rational thinking. This is the first kind of peace we want. When God gives you peace, you will find your mind thinks rationally, with no anxiety. The second kind is peace of the emotions. Sometimes losing peace originates inside the heart that is the emotions, when we're angry, upset, sad, depressed, etc. Our feelings are in chaos. The third kind of peace is peace of relationships. This, pe this means that you have peace with everyone. All people love you and you love all people, whoever they are. You are a man of peace. This is an outside kind of peace, but it affects internal peace. The fourth kind is peace of the conscience. I can imagine that you can control your mind, your feelings, and can make peace with everyone. But what about your conscience? There can be guilt that shakes away your peace. All these affect peace. 